VSync is a complicated topic that I think needs covering. I want to inform you about what VSync does and how to use it, in what scenarios, and so on. VSync is a feature that is integrated into most video games, including Source Engine. VSync is advertised to prevent screen tearing. If you don't know what that is, it's essentially what happens when multiple output frames from the game are crammed up into a single frame displayed because the game is outputting multiple frames, or more often, because you have low FPS. This can lead to jerky movement in-game, and is generally why having a frame rate that is under 60 or 120 FPS is a bad thing. Instead, your graphics card outputs a frame whenever something changes within the game, not your monitor's refresh rate. This means that sometimes, having low frame rate can re lead to jerky movement in games. Oh, and also tearing. The ideal solution would be s to sync up your monitor's refresh rate and when your game displays a picture. However, that isn't possible because your monitor is always locked at 60 FPS and it can't go any higher or lower. But what VSync does is it delays when these frames are shown, syncing up the output frame rate with the monitor's refresh rate. VSync locks your FPS at your monitor's refresh rate, so if you have a 60Hz monitor, it's likely that you can squeeze out a solid at 60 FPS when enabling VSync, regardless of how bad your PC is, to a certain extent. However, because VSync delays your frames from being shown, it leads to a noticeable delay in movement. I suggest you hop into a private server and flip on and off VSync to see what difference it makes. I guarantee you will notice a delayed movement when enabling VSync. Unless, of course, your computer is running at less than 10 FPS. This won't work for VSync. At which point, I suggest you go invest in a nice gaming PC. Alright, let's go through some scenarios about VSync. Let's say that you're an average gamer, but your computer is not exactly decent. You often get about 30 FPS in games, and you feel like you could do better with a higher frame rate. This is where I would suggest enabling VSync carefully. It might be worth getting a higher FPS with delayed movement, Turn it on and play with it for a while and see what difference it makes. Feel free to turn it off if you like. Next, let's say you have an insane beast of a computer. You play with three monitors and squeeze out a solid 300 FPS from your triple SLI GTX 1080 graphics cards. Don't enable VSync, for the love of God. You'll be locked at 60 FPS instead of 300 and your movement in game will suck. Finally, you play on your grandparents laptop with a cracked screen and Windows XP. You can't barely get 10 FPS in Minecraft and are as miserable as you can get. Enabling VSync here is your best option, even if, even if you won't get a constant 60 FPS. In fact, why are you even here? Heck, I'll put a link in the description for a nice $250 PC build. I think you'll need it. Anyway, I think that about covers it for VSync. If you want any more in-depth graphical fidelity, feel free to leave a comment and maybe I'll make a video about it. Thanks for watching and have fun!